Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we'll be doing a comparison of two smartphones in two different price segments. We have the Samsung Galaxy A71, priced almost thirty thousand rupees in India, and we'll be comparing it with the popular Poco X2, which is priced sixteen thousand rupees in India. So you might be wondering why this comparison because the Poco X2 is a different price segment below the 20k price segment while the Samsung Galaxy A71 is below 30k price segment in fact if you look at the pricing uh, it's almost double 16 versus 30000 almost double the pricing but this comparison makes sense for quite a few reasons because if you look at the hardware offered on the Samsung Galaxy A71 you might be seeing that this is powered by uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G it has quad cameras Uh, almost same battery life android 10 out of the box and uh, almost uh, similar camera setup as well so why uh, should you actually uh, invest uh, additional 14000 on the uh, samsung galaxy a71 that's what we are going to uh, analyze in this video so is it really worth uh, spending additional money on the a71 is it really uh, better than the poco x2 at almost half the price so let's get started with the detailed comparison of the uh, Samsung Galaxy A71 with the Poco X2. So if you look at the design aspect you can see that uh, uh, the design language of the Samsung Galaxy A71 uh, is quite uh, similar to what we're seeing on uh, a lot of smartphones you can see that the uh, ca L-shaped camera unit on the back panel and this has uh, curved edges here also you can see that uh, this curved edges but the camera unit is a vertical layout and we have quad camera setup there is a, a pattern around the camera it's not actually a projection it's just a pattern now a uh, design wise both are uh, quite similar because you get Get, uh, almost same uh, display size 6.67 versus 6.7 on the Galaxy A71. So display size is also quite similar. But uh, if you look at the in-hand feel, there you find that uh, the Samsung Galaxy A71 is lighter, almost uh, 20 to 30 grams lighter than the Poco X2, and uh, it's more compact to use. The in-hand feel is definitely better on the A71 uh, than the Poco X2 because it's it's a bit heavy and bulky device. Even the thickness is higher on the Poco X2. Now coming to the build quality, so that's where things change because uh, if you look at the uh, build quality of the uh, Samsung Galaxy A71, even a 30,000 device is having a plastic back panel, which is kind of disappointing to be very frank. Because we expect Samsung to step up the build quality because when you are offering a device in the 30,000, you expect premium build quality, especially in India market. You find all the devices, even in the sub uh, 20k price segment, offering great glass finishing and even pre. premium looks you get a uh, premium looks but the build quality is not that great and being a plastic it is prone to scratches so it's better to use uh, uh, a case always with the A71 now on the other hand uh, uh, the Poco X2 is made of glass finishing uh, you get a really premium looks but again the glass some people might have uh, issues with using glass devices because they are heavy and they are uh, more prone to uh, breakage when it falls down so both have their advantages and disadvantages but at least for a price of 30000 we would have expected a bit more uh, premium uh, build quality on the Galaxy A71 So that's the design and build quality. So in terms of design, uh, the S71 definitely feels more compact. While in terms of the build quality, Poco X2 takes the lead. Now next, uh, let's talk about the display. So both the devices have uh, almost similar display sizes. We have uh, a 6.67 inches on the Poco X2, while on the Samsung Galaxy A71, it's a 6.7 inches. Now the difference here is that the Samsung Galaxy A71 comes with a Super AMOLED display with Gorilla Glass 3 support. Now the Poco X2 has a, a IPS LCD panel with with 120 Hz refresh rate. and uh, gorilla glass 5 version so display wise we would say that uh, the samsung galaxy a71 is definitely better the amoled display is a uh, much more better experience uh, in terms of the colors uh, uh, the viewing angles everything feels uh, better on the samsung galaxy a71 display Uh, but the 120 hertz refresh rate is still definitely good but uh, you also pay almost uh, half the price for poco x2 so considering that the display on the poco x2 is also quite decent Now next the software experience. So here we have uh, two different UIs. Both devices are running on Android 10 out of the box. So we'll just uh, show you the UI. So Poco is running on the MIUI for Poco with Android uh, 10 out of the box and while uh, the Samsung Galaxy A71 runs on the One UI 2.0 again on top of Android 10. So UI wise uh, we would say uh, both of us uh, quite uh, decent experience uh, Poco's uh, uh, MIUI is uh, 
really refined and uh, does offer a lot of additional features same with uh, the one ui 2.0 now both these devices have issues with ads samsung also pushes a bit of ads here and there you can uh, remove suggestions uh, in the ui and uh, stop them similar is the case with the poco but poco definitely has a bit more ads than the samsung's uh, one ui so we feel uh, ads are something which is kind of annoying so if you are really a person who doesn't like ads you can actually disable them uh, on the poco x2 uh, so ui wise uh, we feel uh, both are equally good and equally equipped uh, with uh, uh, good features on offer now talking about the performance side now both the devices are powered by the qualcomm snapdragon 730 processor while uh, the poco x2 comes with the 730g processor which is slightly an overclocked uh, gpu on the 730g which helps in gaming now uh, the 730 is a pretty good chipset uh, overall it provides good experience overall uh, no issues with uh, gaming uh, the gaming quality on both the devices are quite good uh, there is no heating issues also but here we feel uh, the 730g has a slight edge over the regular 730 uh, uh, in overall all the aspect but it's hardly noticeable actually so in terms of performance we feel both are equally good and uh, it's more or less like how the software performs and uh, here we feel uh, the uh, MIUI was a bit more responsive than the One UI 2.0 now the cameras so uh, we have uh, uh, two different camera setup both are having a, a 64 megapixel camera we have the samsung's gw1 sensor the 64 megapixel sensor on the a71 uh, coupled with an ultra wide angle camera depth sensor and a macro lens uh, here we have a, a, a 64 megapixel sony imx 686 sensor and this is something which is really good and uh, you also get an ultra wide angle camera depth sensor and uh, macro lens now if you look at the camera uh, samples you have taken and uh, if you analyze analyze them closely you can see that how good the poco x2 is when compared to the samsung galaxy a71 uh, the sensor does uh, make a huge difference here the images shot with the, the poco x2 were much better than the samsung galaxy a71 which was kind of average uh, we would say especially in low light conditions the uh, camera samples uh, looked much better on the poco x2 now poco x2 also has a dual camera setup for the front panel 20 plus uh, 2 megapixel while it's a 32 megapixel on the samsung galaxy a71 so if you're more uh, into cameras or if you want the better camera experience the poco x2 is the one uh, which we would suggest out of the two devices now talking about the other aspect uh, we have uh, in display fingerprint scanner on the samsung galaxy a71 while the fingerprint scanner is on the power button on the poco x2 we felt the fingerprint scanner experience was faster on the poco x2 the in display fingerprint scanner on the a series have been uh, a a tad does too slow we have also seen how a51 uh, worked it is not the perfect or the fastest out there the face unlock is quite good on both the phones now call quality and reception and signal strength are quite similar on both the phones we didn't see any sort of issues here now finally moving on to the battery life so both the devices have 4500 mAh capacity battery and both have fast charging we have 25 watt fast charging on the a71 while we have a 27 watt fast charger on the poco x2 and the charging speed is faster on the poco x2 now battery performance is quite uh, similar both the devices offer quite good uh, one and a half uh, days of battery life with like six to seven hours on screen on time now if you use the 120 hertz refresh rate battery life is definitely lower but you can always switch to 60 hertz uh, to get a uh, slightly better battery life on the poco x2 so in terms of battery life almost similar experience so now summing up uh, is the samsung galaxy a71 worth 30,000 when you're getting almost similar experience at 16,000 on the poco x2 now the samsung galaxy a71 has a better display it's an amoled display and uh, uh, overall good in hand feel it's a lighter device good uh, compact device other than that we don't really find any major difference when compared to the poco x2 so if you are really particular about the amoled display then uh, going with the a71 makes sense otherwise if you look at the uh, the build quality the processing abilities the gaming experience the cameras the charging fast charging technology everything else and uh, almost half the pricing poco x2 definitely makes much better sense than going with the samsung galaxy a7 year but uh, there are people who really want samsung devices people often say that samsung has better overall service and uh, 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 after sale service and uh, much better uh, quality 
but that's not really true poco is serviced by xiaomi they have service centers across india and the service quality is almost as good as the samsung so uh, now that that uh, question does not arise whether service centers are better for samsung so that uh, question does not arise so in our opinion uh, it's definitely better to go with the poco x2 uh, because you almost save half the cost uh, of uh, the samsung galaxy a71 now the a71 has an amoled display this would have been better if it is priced almost like 23 uh, 24k not for a 29 triple nine pricing that's way too overpriced on the samsung galaxy a71 so that was the detailed uh, comparison of the Samsung Galaxy A71 with the Poco X2. So hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. This is Nirmal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.